Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Mountain West has been adept in producing teams who can knock off schools from the so-called big conferences. A high level of football being played in the Mountain West. We expect a great matchup today. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. California on the Pacific Rim in just 20 minutes from Tijuana. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams on of the field and we're ready for the opening kickoff and he got all of this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today Statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Here we go. Quick throw onto the receiver, incomplete. Ready. Nice run up the middle. That's a team of four. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 50. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at about the 35. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First and 10. Ball on the 35. It's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Aztecs! Yeah. 
tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. And for Reddick, he capped off a great day with four touchdown passes. The Jayhawks win it by 19. In other action, time to check in on the Port City of Mobile. And for South Alabama, in the waning moments, time a major enemy. They score to take the lead. South Alabama gets the win, 34-31. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. Roberts from the two. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Idaho's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. And we'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete. Water is receiver. it to the 37 and the delayed handoff works for a big game got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback from the 37 yard line first down Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. Five wide. Quick pass intercepted. impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From their own 29-yard line, first down. San Diego State is up by a touchdown. He takes it right side for a good game. at left. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. Good solid running right there getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Nice run there. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it second and six. It's 
It's second and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Marshall takes it right side. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10, and he will score. as a result. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they are hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Four yards on that play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. And six to go. Ball on their own 28. Tackles him hard at the 21. First quarter comes to an end and this one might raise a few eyebrows around the country so the Aztecs lead it by two touchdowns welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter so an empty backfield with five wide receivers and he almost has the INT he was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Tackle at the 46. Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's tackled at about the 25 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's got an opening. And they make the stop around the 12 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. And down he goes around the two-yard line. So the Aztecs running back, he was injured early. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll keep it on the ground again. Touchdown, San Diego State. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 46-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice things for the running back. Williams has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gutierrez from the one. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We football left, but I gotta say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blow. He's to the 40. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. To the 20. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. That was simply sensational running. And it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. He makes the PAT. Idaho lines up for the kickoff. Marshall fields it at the one. Drop down at the 30. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Set, bring it up. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And he took on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. From their own 30-yard line, second down. sink right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks good outside run there and it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game First down. San Diego State's going to use their first time out of the half here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13 yard line. A win today gives them nine wins on the season. Arkansas leads it 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. San Diego State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. 
Now, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. That time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Quick out to his receiver. And they push him out around the 50-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From midfield, it's first down. He's got it with room to run. And he hits him hard at the 43. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Throws it in a hurry. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 36-yard line, first down. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made right around the 34. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 34-yard line, second down. Under pressure. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He's taken down right around the 10 yard line. That makes it first and goal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow three. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. We've got second and goal. 10 yards to the end zone. Receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 73 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Bennett has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Marshall fields at the goal line. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. San Diego State's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Rifles this one out to the left. He's got it! And he's finally shoved out the 39-yard line. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. A 
under pressure. Complete it. Right down at about the 15-yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. So the Aztecs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. been entertaining us all day long. The Razorbacks keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Cater. The Razorbacks on top, 14-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. San Diego State's got a three-touchdown advantage. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There are a lot of ways to describe that first half, David. I, I think the best is, let me tell you, these offenses are just putting up video game numbers. But we talk about it week in and week out, and that seems to be a term that we like to use, and it's just... High execution, doing everything that you want to do. Just like you sitting there pushing buttons on a control. That's how easy it seemed. It didn't seem like there was 90,000 fans in the crowd. It seemed like it was just you at home, sitting on the couch, chilling, pressing the circle button, using the, using the stiff arm, using the ball hawk. Everything just seemed to go perfectly. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's hit immediately. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Complete and taken down immediately. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 27 yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. And he is drilled at the 26. That brings up 
second and nine. After a decent run up the gut. Call it again at four yards. Third down. From the 22 yard line, it's third down. Green nine, green nine. Blue four, blue four. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Let's go! Green in the eight! Green! He's got to throw it in a... And he throws it away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 86 to man, 86 to man. Rocky. Here we go. He's tackled at the 38. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires out to his rider, and down he goes at the 25. This is the eighth play of this drive. it to the 11. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 11. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. 
tenth play of the drive. White up the gut. Touchdown, San Diego State. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you in the zone almost every time. the extra point. A 10 play, 74 yard drive and they get it in for 7. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. They'll bring him down at the 22. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 34-yard line, first down. We head to the fourth quarter, and we didn't see this coming. San Diego State's got a huge lead. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Red two. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 50. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. throw. Incomplete pass. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win the game. to get it inside the 40. He chucks it downfield. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. It's down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. All right, let's check in on some games with major PCS implications. 
This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Arkansas, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. Arkansas leads it 24-3. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Tackle made the 42-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 40-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Receiver and it falls incomplete. Samuel intends on receiver on the play. Third down. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull up there, check the house, it's up there. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. Come on. Come on. And all here and does. No, incomplete. Number 86 is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. He fights forward to about the 23. Space to work. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Dixon brings him down at the 31. Easy, yard line. easy. First two, down. 20. Crash, crash. Red two. Blue 20. Pick up. Caught with room to work. He's tackled in the open field. That's a gain of six on the play. Kill, kill, kill. Cut the three. Shift. Watch the shift. Brought down at the 49. That's a game of 12 yards. Easy, easy. First and 10. Blue, 20. Check 99. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue, go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at the 46 yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's taken down at the 34. Duncan on the tackle at the 34 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Slam, slam, slam! Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Here we go, here we go. 
go, here we go. Yellow three. Yellow three. Go. Quick strike and he drops it. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. The ball is loose. Picked up. It's not like receivers don't practice hanging onto the ball all week. This is just a case of the defense creating a turnover. to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Makes it out to about the 29. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. out to around the 38. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.